Hello, my fellow MetaGrid users around the world. Hope you're good. I'm good. Also, my grids are good. Hope your grids are good too. Uh, though I have to tell you that my grids have been created uh, using MetaGrid version 1 and it's perfectly fine because new MetaGrid Pro is capable of utilizing my older grids but I totally feel like creating new ones for, for just for MetaGrid Pro and some of my crucial key software. So today we are actually going to create our first grid in MetaGrid Pro. Let's go for it. And let's actually start with a fun fact. Did you know that Metagrid itself was the only reason I went to the Apple store to buy an iPad? Yes, and until today, both my iPads are running only Metagrid and nothing else. And yeah, it was so great that after a week of using Metagrid, I went to the iStore again and I bought a second iPad actually, and now I'm having two of these. And <laughs> probably iPads are good also for different stuff, not only for Metagrid, but let me say that Metagrid is really kind of a good reason to buy an iPad, right? Okay, let's get to our grid. It's here, it's empty. Uh, I swipe right to open the main menu of the application, and when I click this top left icon, I get into Content Manager, actually. And I've got Profiles, Workspaces and Grids. We're gonna make a separate episode about it. For now, let's just click Profiles and add a new profile. And I'm gonna create a profile for the application currently in focus, which is Nuendo, my main and my favorite DAW. I click Nuendo. I've got a default workspace for Nuendo and a default grid for Nuendo. I click Done. And here is the blank grid as it is. I'm gonna clear the buttons first. And guys, this is actually where MetaGrid Pro magic happens somehow. Yeah, because look, I can select everything. I can merge it, for example, like this. Yes, I can. And moreover, then I can split it again. Split, 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 and split, and etc etc and yeah it's cool you have you can have small and larger rectangles but this is just the beginning because now i can of course i can split even more and now i can merge whatever area and size i wish my friends like this like this like this and as far as i know it's 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 the only app having something like this. And if you ask me, this feels really great. And the GUI, the, the, the user interaction between MetaGrid Pro and me, for now, just starting the new grid is amazing. If you ask me, really, I do feel this is great. But let's undo for now. So actually, what I would really do, I would split this area like this, like this, like this. And also I will split this area. And what I'm gonna do, and that's gonna be my first real grid for my Nuendo, not like demo something for you. No, 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 that's gonna be a grid I am going to use. Uh, for now, I've been using also Touch Portal alongside with MetaGrid for some of my actions in my DAW. Uh, and the only reason I was using Touch Portal is that it had the possibility to use custom icons and I was somehow missing that in MetaGrid, but guess what? MetaGrid Pro allows me to choose a folder with my custom icons. So there's no need anymore uh, to use Touch Portal, and I will gladly quit it to focus solely on my MetaGrid Pro. So I'm just gonna transfer this grid here, and what this grid does, it chooses the plugins for me in my DAW, so I don't have to click the mouse, and I have to, I don't have to write the commands from the keyboard. Uh, I've got my plugins for mixing and other stuff just with one click. And the top bar is are the sections of my plugins, as you can see. Mixing, mastering, processing and design, restoring, stereo, mono 5.1. There's also a delete button. It's the same for every sub page of this grid. And let's go to our MetaGrid Pro. 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to merge this area and I'm going to add a button here. Do the same here. And now having this set up, I can select it all and I can add buttons to it just with one click, which is also cool. Now I'm going to switch to object and I'm going to start creating my objects, my first buttons here. There are 12 of them exactly like in my previous touch portal. And it's the main navigation for sub pages. So the name of it is going to be mix. The background color should be this. I think this gray thing works well. The text I like the text to be white. There will be no icon. And here's the action that I'm gonna perform here. And it's just a navigation between pages. So I'm gonna go to grid display action and here I can choose a grid that I want to go to while, while clicking this button. But for now, I've got no grids. Of course, this is the only one. So now, not, not navigation options for uh, other grids here. So let me finish just this very first grid. I'm going to take this button. I'm going to copy it and paste here. Yeah, that's more or less this. And maybe you notice that I'm copying a couple of things and it's easy to copy anything in Medigrid Pro. You click the button, you click the copy, you choose your space and then click paste. But also by clicking style, you can choose exactly what you want to copy from the other button. Layout, background color, icon, and icon color text, text color, text size, macro. You can choose actually everything here, which makes editing and creating grids a dream and a really easy and fast process. Now, having this, I'm going to go to Content Manager. I'm going to call this grid edit. It's called mix one stereo and it's gonna be like this and now I can duplicate edit this one's gonna be mono Etc. 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 I'm gonna do the mix to stereo mono 5.1. Then I'm gonna do the same for mastering, process, design, and restore because the top bar, the top navigation bar of my previous touch portal grid was the same for every sub page, and it's gonna be the same here. Every grid in this workspace and in this profile is going to have the same top navigation bar. So now, guys, let's add more buttons. And this space is going to be left like it is. I'm going to merge. And again, I'm going to add buttons here. And now comes the thing that I totally, absolutely love. I mean, I'm going to open my meta server window. It's here. And let's not discuss everything that's here. There's just one important setting for me, files, and this is custom icons folder. As you can see, I made it C users, Pavel documents, Metagrid Pro icons. It can be whatever you want. Metagrid on your iPad is going to recognize it and take the icons from there. And the first, very first plugins I, I'm having here are Acoustica audio plugins with this very characteristic icon of Acoustica audio. So I'm going to simply find an Acoustica audio icon. Let's get back to editing. And the first thing on my uh, old touch portal uh, grid was EQP1A emulation by Acoustica. The text on this can be really small. Then 
I'll do also this very light gray background. And now I can custom, yes, and my Acoustica logo is here. And button layout is going to be icon plus text. And also I think that this text should be simply black. Like this. Done. Let's take a look. Yes, it looks nice. This button is smaller than my buttons on Touch Portal Grid, but you know what? They are more sleek. I like them. I actually like them smaller. I have no problem with clicking them like this. I'm perfectly fine and comfortable. They are not too small for me. Visually, they are absolutely fine. I can see everything very clear. Let's get back to editing. And now I'm going to copy the macro. And the macro was a chain, a row of commands one after another. And the first one is numerical keyboard one, because this is an emulation of a mouse click in my DAW. It's important. I'll tell you why in a second. That's the first step. The second step is I'm going to write a text like using normal keyboard, but of course a virtual Metagrid keyboard. This is the name of a VST plugin I'm going to use in my DAW. And the last stage is simply enter. And why is it like this, guys? Let me show you. That's my DAW. You can see this, right? Uh, and if I normally would use any plugin, like everybody using a DAW knows it, I have to click somewhere. I have to write a name of this. Yeah, and I have to press enter to make this plugin appear. But actually now, having this macro, what I need to do is I have to press this. And I'm already smiling, guys, because I love it. I'm showing you my little, uh, little workflow secret that makes me amazingly fast and efficient while working in my DAW. Whether it's editing, mixing, recording, whatever it is, I've got grids for everything. And now I'm going to have a grid separately on my Metagrid Pro for my plugins, which feels amazing. But guys, uh, I'm going to do this and create this grid to the very end. It's going to take me a while, so I'm not going to continue here with you. I'm going to do it all by myself, all on my own. But I really hope you enjoyed it. Mm, and this is the time to sum the things up maybe a bit. Yeah, so that's actually the birth of my very first and very real, fully functional uh, Metagrid Pro grid that I'm going to use uh, with my software. And what should I say? I really did enjoy the process. Uh, it's easy, it's fast, it's very satisfying for some reasons. I mean, Metagrid is so slick, so smooth, so inviting you to create your new workflows that really <laughs> I can spend time just editing and creating, creating grids. It's kind of a hobby even for me. And I really do enjoy it almost as much as I enjoy later using my grids. So I hope that's going to inspire you to create your own grids, that you're also going to enjoy the process of creating your grids, and then you're going to taste the real boost and huge, huge pleasure and advantage of using Medigrids Pro grids that you create yourself. Take care. See you soon.